Damascus President Ivan Duque believes Colombia's decades of violence and efforts to achieve peace have led to many lessons learned and a clear mission for his presidency. Y Colombia también. Colombia is also a country that today has a firm purpose to advance in peace with legality. The statement was made during a meeting of the United Nations Peace Building Commission in Cartagena, Colombia. The session brought on an exchange of best practices in financing and forging strategic alliances to consolidate peace. Los Estados miembros de la Comisión. The member states of this commission need to find more innovative, effective, and sustainable ways to assure the financing of reconciliation and recuperation after complex violent situations. The UN Peacebuilding Commission is made up of 31 countries that are chosen by several UN bodies, including the General Assembly and Security Council. Colombia is currently the president of the commission and decided to host this year's meeting in Cartagena the first time the commission meets outside of the UN's New York headquarters. Colombia is maintaining an uneasy peace in its post-conflict era. After signing a peace agreement in 2016 to end 50 years of armed conflict with the largest rebel group known as FARC. When Colombia's peace deal was signed, it was estimated that peacebuilding efforts could cost $45 billion over a period of 15 years. During his speech, President Duque listed the peacebuilding advances made during his 17 months in office and requested the UN's continued support during Colombia's transition. As a product of this important visit, we hope you may appreciate in more detail these advances made, and we may also, through bilateral cooperation, and we ask that through bilateral cooperation, we may knock on your doors so we can continue advancing in Colombia. During the year that just ended, the UN Special Representative Carlos Ruiz Massieu, who heads the UN verification mission in Colombia, spoke to the Security Council on Monday of the advances the country has made. But he also pointed to continued concern about illegal armed groups and their attacks on community leaders and former combatants. Michelle Begas, CGTN, Bogotá.